The United States Navy SEAL platoons project power far beyond their small 16-man size. The success of their mission doesn't just rely on weapons or technology, but on the specialized training of the individual SEAL operator. They come from all walks of life, from all across the American landscape. Most have some measure of athletic ability. Over a third have college degrees. They all share a common goal, to become a member of the most elite team in the world, the United States Navy SEALs. Each year, 600 to 800 young men attempt the basic underwater demolition SEAL training, or BUDS at the Naval Special Warfare Center in Coronado, California. But only one-third complete the rigorous 25-week transition from sailor to SEAL. Let's go, let's go. This is the story of one such group, Class 224. You get treated like the absolute lowest form on Earth, and you really got to find it within yourself to say, you know, I know I can do it. I know I can finish it. I know I can do anything they throw at me. Uh, that's where it builds character. You find out if you got it in yourself, uh, if you can just block everything out and just focus on that brass ring, you know, of getting through the six months of hell. First phase is really the phase that's going to separate the men from the boys. When these guys come here, they really don't know what to expect. So uh, we're going to push them. We're going to push them hard. We're going to see what they have. And the guys that want to be here, no matter what we do or say, they want to be a SEAL, they're going to be a SEAL. That's, that's, that's all there is to it. Physically, Buds is a real butt kicker. Just having the mental fortitude of not only trying to get through the PT sessions, but also getting through the lack of sleep, having instructors on your back, being hurt all the time. All those things start, start taking a play into it during the day. And it's uh, just having the idea of there's nothing that's going to stop me from finishing this training or finishing this evolution. That's to get you through it. I believe that uh, Buds build teamwork and character by uh, weeding out the weak, bringing the strong together to survive the training. I don't think any one man can make it alone through buds. You gotta stay in this position till you guys lock it up. Give up! You have to stay all day. I'd say the obstacle uh, course is never blow my expectations. It's some of the best training you can get. Because you gotta think on your feet, you gotta act, you gotta move, you gotta be fast, you gotta be safe. You can really hurt yourself. Who y'all loves? Attrition in first phase is pretty high. Just like I say, it's, um, it's, a, it's a really fast-paced phase. And these guys are constantly moving and grooving every second of every day, except for when they're eating. So um, the guys, when they hear about SEAL training, they're like, well, all you have to do is run. All you have to do is an O course and everything like that. Not really that big a deal. But once you start putting everything together, and the days are endless, that's when uh, guys decide that this really isn't for me. I'm not, I don't want to be wet. I don't want to be cold. Uh, this pace right here is not for me, because that's what's going to happen when they leave here, they go to SEAL team. The, the pace is just like that, it never ends. It's just about everything at Buzz is a, is a timed evolution or it's a, it's a race. Uh, it builds camaraderie with the guys, they, they take their boats and they'll race out through the surf zone. Sometimes the boats will flip over on them because the surf gets so big. It's quite an experience to be paddling a rubber boat and facing this eight foot wall of water coming at you, it's just going to destroy you and you know, send you tumbling around and there was almost like a washing machine effect in the water. What we're looking for from a recruit, number one, he has to have the physical skills to complete the training. Two, he has to have the mental aptitude, because we're not just a bunch of knuckle draggers. You have to have some mental skills as well. 42-10. We don't look for any kind of personality. There's all sorts of different kind of personalities in, in the teams. But we're looking for a guy that, that's willing to sacrifice and can work well with others in a, in a teamwork environment. I think the evolutions that cause the most problems are the water evolution. Some of these kids are from Wyoming, it's different places where they haven't even seen the water, or at least the surf zone, they're not really too comfortable in the water. And you're doing drown proofing where your hands are tied behind your back, your feet are tied up, they don't like that. Drown proofing, I think it's more of a mental thing than a physical evolution. It's all about trying to stay calm and being comfortable in the water. Half of our class uh, failed it the first time they went through, and I think it's just because they have a mental block of, of the idea of not having control. You just gotta, you know, have confidence in yourself and, and saying, you know, I've done this before, I can float on the water. 3,000 guys have done it before I have, you know, why can't I do it? It's a, it's a mental thing. 